All right, how's it going YouTube? Uh, back with another video for you guys, car video. Uh, what we have here is my new 2020 Subaru Forester Sport in crystal black metallic, which is, in my opinion, the best color to get on the Sport. Um, I've had it for about two weeks now. Uh, it's gonna go over everything I did and have done to it, plan to do to it. Uh, so, do the most, no probably the most noticeable. Uh, very shiny car. Um, <laughs> I had that ceramic coated. It's basically like a mirror still. Um, that was done a week and a half ago. Um, it's raining here in Ohio. Of course, yesterday I just washed it for the first time since the ceramic coating to let the coating harden and to the paint and all that good stuff. Uh, washed it immediately within 10 hours of washing it. It has been pouring up until about a few minutes ago. Classic Ohio weather. <clears throat> but uh, aside from the ceramic coating, I had it tinted same, same day. Did 15% uh, over the factory privacy glass can't see through it at all basically unless you are putting your uh, head to the window and I just did 15% over the front windows uh, this was also ceramic tint not ceramic coat well I'm, I guess maybe it was the windows were ceramic coated I don't know if they do it to the windows or what but the tent itself was the ceramic tent. Uh, the last two vehicles I've had has had it on. Definitely makes a difference than over the standard tent. Um, so any vehicle I ever have will definitely have ceramic tent on it. Um, moving on, probably the most second most second or third most noticeable thing. Uh, I got a set of the rock blocks, mud flaps. Uh, just installed those. Uh, I've had, only had those on for about a week now. I've only had the car for just over two weeks. Um, so I basically got this, had it ceramic coated and tinted, immediately knew that I was gonna wanna get some mud flaps to protect this, uh, to protect the paint, especially with it being black. So anything to help protect the paint. And also I do definitely wanna do some adventuring and plan on taking this thing on road trips. Apologize wind uh, noise gets picked up there but uh, definitely want to do some road trips in this thing that's the reason I had it I briefly had a Ram 1500 I did a couple videos on but never or recorded a couple of videos on but never uploaded uh, but for financial and work reasons and living <laughs> situations I got was able to get rid of that um, truck market kind of surged here in Ohio specifically uh, so I was able to basically get out of that, get straight into this, um, without having to spend any money out of, out of my pocket. So it worked out good. Um, got something that's way better on gas mileage, uh, and has a lot more cargo storage. Um, so things that I want to do, um, those, that's so far, that's all I've done to it. Uh, things I want to do though probably smoke the uh, clear reverse lights and turn signal lights. Um, definitely not going to touch the brake lights because that's definitely a safety safety hazard. I'm very against tinting taillights after having uh, tinted my F-150 taillights back in the day. Um, you know, if you do it right, it looks good and you can. they're still fairly visible, but it's too easy for if you get involved in an accident. Too easy to have that, uh, the, the risk to have that be an issue in that process is just not worth it for me. Um, so, might get a light tint on the, uh, since it's just the reverse lights and the turn signal lights. Um, but we'll see there. Um, potentially replacing the Subaru the Subaru brand, the Forester, and then the all-wheel symmetrical all-wheel drive badges uh, with the black badges. Definitely gonna leave the sport badge there though. 
Um, and then, uh, really the only other plans potentially would be this, this guy doesn't get a little bit better side shot for you real quick. This guy does not have, uh, did not come with, uh, the arrow bars or any, uh, um, of the roof or not the roof rails come stock with the roof rails, but it didn't come with any crossbars or anything. Um, and then also potentially getting the, uh, aluminum skid plate for the front engine or underneath the engine cover. Um, other than that though, uh, I don't think I want to lift it. Um, maybe at some point getting some, uh, all-terrain tires. It's got the Falcon tires on it for stock. Um, just the standard street tires, nothing fancy there. Um, but maybe get a set of, uh, the Falcon all-terrains or step up to the 235, 55, 18 inch, uh, BF, BF Goodrich KO2s. Um, but I don't want to do a ton of this. Uh, definitely am against lifting it. So if any, uh, off-roading capability mods are done, it would just probably be tires. Um, I really don't want to lift it, but who knows? Real quick, I'll just show you guys the inside. I know it's going to look pretty standard, but, um, I've got all the rear mats, uh, rear cargo mat, seat back protectors. Those were big features for me. This is the, this has the popular, or not the popular package, uh, option 24 package, and also the popular two package, which is like the home link garage buttons and a couple other things. Um, but it has the Harman Kardon system, which was a big thing. Uh, real quick, I'll just show you under the mat. Got some, a couple things in here. Uh, battery cables, or uh, jumper cables, some gloves, toe straps. Uh, ratchet straps, bungee cords, tape measure. That's the cargo net. I took the uh, uh, privacy cover out because the tent more than gives enough privacy for me, for my liking. Um, so I think that's a pain in the butt to have it in there. Um, so I have that in my basement and just the cargo net I'll probably take out too at some point. Um, but uh, Popular package two, I believe, or I'm sorry, the option 24 also includes that power power tailgate. Um, and I guess there's one more thing I did. As every vehicle I've had, I do the uh, Husky floor liners. Uh, just absolutely priceless in my opinion. Um, there's no reason not to get these mats. Uh, they're awesome. Plenty of coverage, uh, more coverage than WeatherTechs in every case that I have uh, encountered with them. Uh, I think I ordered them the day after I got the car. This, These did come with the all-weather mats, um, the Subaru ones, but they just, they don't hold up, man. <laughs> they do not hold up. So, I already have a... Uh, a Chipotle mark, or I'm sorry, uh, Penn Station mark. Had some fries, was picking up some fries for, uh, to take home and, or I'm sorry, I was picking up Penn Station and some of the fries flew forward, the bag ripped, uh, interesting situation, but fries flew out, got some grease on there. So those, the Subaru all weather mats definitely would have, uh, hit the actual carpet and got, uh, grease marks on the carpet. So, that would not have been good, but just show you real quick. That's where the uh, Harman Kardon amp for the system is. There's a little. They got badges on the front driver side, driver and passenger side um, for the Harman Kardon system. Eight inch upgraded screen with the 24 package, and then also the blind spot monitoring. You can see it built into the mirror there. That little black rectangle um and then push button start throw that in there real quick so yeah i'm i'm very happy with this vehicle i, I love it uh definitely uh 
wanted something bigger. I it's kind of, this is kind of what I wanted the cross track to be. Um, but at the time I was just a college student. So, um, had the cross track premium and now, uh, after a brief time away from the Subaru brand, I have returned. And this is, like I said a second ago, this is exactly what I wanted the Crosstrek to be. Um, it's got almost double the cargo storage that the Crosstrek did. And then with the seats down, it's still about another 20 feet of uh, cargo volume. So, uh, and it sits up a little higher too, still same 8.7 inch of ground clearance, but uh, um, just you feel, you sit up a little higher, it's a little bit bigger vehicle. Uh, the black wheels, um, black accents with the sport package and the orange, black and orange accents I should say. Um, and then the LED headlights are phenomenal and in uh, nighttime conditions as I've uh, tested out thoroughly already. Um, just that's a, that's definitely a big thing for me. Um, I guess the only other thing I know I said I only had a couple of things and then I've thrown on another few but uh, the other little minor thing that'll probably make a big look difference will be uh, I have a set of um, overlay emblem overlays on uh, on order here um, I did matte black background with uh, the orange Subaru stars to hopefully accent and make the black and orange throughout the car pop even more so here she is for now though i'm really happy with it uh if you guys have any questions or want me to go over maybe like the mud flap install um, or have any questions about those feel free to hit me up um not a lot of videos there's actually i haven't found any youtube videos on uh the rock blocks install um for uh the fifth gen foresters so if you have any questions or want me, want me to showcase that in depth let me know but other than that i will uh update it once there have been significant changes but until then hope you guys have a good one